What's up, Weld Tool family? It's Isaac once again. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to weld a copper nickel plate using a molenail stick rod. So our good friend Jordan at That Classy Diver, who's also a member of Weld Tube, sent us these plates. Now, it's gonna be my first time welding this. I've never done this before, but he did send me some tips, so hopefully everything comes out good and perfect. Alright guys, so I'm going to be welding with this Monel 190 rod. Um, I'm going to be welding it to this copper nickel plate. This type of welding is mainly used in shipyards for shipbuilding. The weld metal is resistant to corrosion by seawater, salt, and reducing acids. It's not common, but it does get used. Alright guys, here I got my plate tacked up in the 3G position. I do got a backing strip in the back. I put about a 3 8 gap in here. Um, it is a half inch plate and I'm gonna be welding it with the Lincoln machine over here in the back. All right guys, for this video, I'm gonna be using my brand new hood with a fixed shade, shade 10. I'm gonna be pl placing this front flip adapter, which is pretty neat. Pretty much you grab it, stick it right here. Close it up. All right guys, so I'm gonna preheat the plate today because it's a little cold here in Houston, Texas today. So you don't want to weld on a cold ass plate. All right guys, so I'm about to run the roof pass. I am a little nervous, I don't want to fuck it up, but who cares? Anyways, I'm gonna be running my root pass at 80 amps. I'm gonna be having my arc control on soft and at negative eight. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Man, bro. Thank you, bro. First time. Here he goes. Cut. <laughs> what the f man? This fucking piece of shit got. I don't know. Come over here and weld this. Shit. God dang it! Cut! So, so that, that was pretty hard for that root pass, I ain't gonna lie. From a 1 to a 10, I give it a 10. Maybe it's just because I've never done it. Maybe I just gotta keep doing it over and over. And I'm pretty sure I'll master it, but... Way different than a 7018. I grinded the root down and it looks like I got a little bit of lack of fusion on the sides, a little bit. Um, oh well. Now I'm gonna do my hop pass. For my hop pass, I'm gonna do a stringer bead. And I'm gonna run it right on the side, just right here. I'm just gonna run it just like this. For this hop pass, I'm gonna run about um, 85 amps. See what happens.
It's not the prettiest, but I'm happy with it. If I would have welded the Titanic, that would have never sunk. <laughs> So, there's the hot pads, it's two stringer beads. Now it's not perfect, it is my first time doing this, so you know, don't expect to see a really badass weld. Um, there's a couple imperfections I can see already. It looks like I got a pinhole right here. Maybe another one right here. It's all right though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grind it down kind of flat again, and I'm gonna start doing my fills. It was definitely running a lot smoother now after the root and hop. This should be running much easier. The motion that I'm using for my stringer beads is like a backward use, but a very, very tight, very tight, very tight backwards U. I like this. All right, guys, so now I have my plate nice and flush. Um, so before I cap it, I'm gonna make me a guideline just so I can see it better. Um, that's what I like to do, so that's what I'm gonna do. For my arc force, now that I'm gonna cap it, I'm gonna try it at positive two. I want a little bit crisp, and I'm gonna change my amps. Um, so this machine, you can't really see your amperage, so uh, let's just say this, this is 90 right here. Which, it's about 90. So I'm gonna cap it at 90 amps. So on my root and hot pass, I had my arc force at about negative eight. I had it on soft, just because that, uh, that will penetrate a little bit more. Um, now for my cap, I don't want it to penetrate that much, so I'm just gonna put it at positive two. 
All right, guys, so now I'm going to do my first bead cap. Now for my cap, I'm going to basically just drag it with a little movement with the backward use. Backward U movement, just like this. It's almost a drag, just like that. All right, let's do this. There goes the first B cap. Doesn't look that bad. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm gonna make me a second guideline. I really love my new flip adapter. <laughs> Works wonders. Oh yeah, down to the last one. All right, guys, so I just tacked the carbon steel 3 8 plate, and here is the copper nickel plate. Um, I already capped it. I did a 3B cap. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going I'm to grind into the carbon steel plate, and then I'm going to grind into the copper nickel plate so you guys can see the difference. Whenever you grind on the carbon steel plate, it throws a, uh, a lot of sparks. A lot of sparks fly out. Okay, y'all see that? Y'all see how many sparks flew out? Now, now look, in, and look and see here how many sparks fly out when I grind on the copper nickel plate. You hardly get any sparks at all. You get little, little, small, small sparks, but nothing at all. So there's a big, big difference. All right, guys, so there you have it, a copper nickel plate welded with the Monil 190 stick rod. I want to give a shout out to Jordan at That Classy Diver um, for sending me, this, sending me this plates and these Monil stick rods. Um, it was my first time doing it, but I enjoyed it. It's something new, and I... I look forward to doing it again. So I finally made an Instagram. Make sure you follow me at iwells with a Z at the end. Make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe. Thank you.